Salute everybody. This is Lawrence the Adam. I'm actually sitting in the car. I got to get ready for a meeting I got to go to. But I've been taking in the content about this whole drizzle drizzle. Of course, it's a satire and, you know, they're making fun of what women do. But the reality of it is, which people I think are missing it, this drizzle drizzle ain't nothing new. It's nothing new. Yes, it's a satire. Yes, it's making fun of what women are seeing they're expecting it, expecting from men. But the reality of it is, if you really know history, you realize that this drizzle drizzle <laughs> ain't nothing new. Now, I'm going I'm I'm to clarify this because I am not in no regards saying that I'm a pimp. Not at all. Nor do I condone pimping. But I will pick this caveat there. When you think about it, what does the pimp do? Before the woman comes to him, she has to pay a choosing fee. She has to pay what? A choosing fee. She has to, she has to present to the gentleman of leisure some kind of intrinsic value that he br that she brings to him she has to come to the transaction with what some kind of value that she brings to this man and what does she do she normally drops off some money to say hey i choose you i'm willing to be under your submission I'm willing to be under your leadership. I see your mission before he goes any further. So this is nothing new. That's why I'm not moved by the drizzle drizzle. It's, it's nothing new. I'm telling you. When you are a man who know your value. Who knows his worth. Who know who has standards. Who has have certain expectations. You realize that this drizzle drizzle is really nothing new. What I mean nothing new. It's nothing new. It's been going on. It has been it has been called something else. This is 2024 terminology. That's all it is. But it's nothing really new. Women have been doing that for years. The thing is, or the caveat is, they don't do it for every man. That's the thing. They don't do this for every man. This man must have his stuff together. He must be, in the words we used to use back in the day, he must be thorough mentally, spiritually, and physically. He must have his money intact. And it, it, this is the thing. Let me let me let me make sure when I say the money in time, because it really don't have nothing to do with the money. But he has money to take care of himself. Because I can tell you stories that I didn't have. I didn't have the money. But guess what? But back to what I was getting at. This drizzle drizzle is nothing new. I don't know why we uh, up in arms about it. And the thing of it is the women are getting getting upset about it has never dealt with the man that they would do that for. Because trust me, women will pay, come open up the purse and pocketbook and do the things and pay a man for his time, his energy, and for his mind. Because I was going to do a video about this, but I'm going to share it a little bit here. She wants to swim in his consciousness. She wants to swim in his consciousness. She wants to swim in his energy because it energizes her what? Femininity. So that's why it's nothing new. Women do it. If you check any, if you look at any history, you realize women for years of means would pay what? For men to, to be in the presence of certain men to interact with certain men and to even have sex with certain men.
So I don't know why we acting like this is something. Oh, this is something new. This is 2024. It, yes, it's satire and all. Like I understand that, but at the end of the day, it's nothing new. If I can tell you from experience, not something I read, but from experience, how many women were willing to open up the pocketbook? Why? Because they realized they were dealing with a man who has something mentally, spiritually, and physically that they wanted. They don't mind. Why they don't mind? Because they're getting an exchange from that man. And many times it's not even tangible exchange. It's intangibles that she's getting. Why? She's getting something she doesn't get from other people or other men. Think about it. If a woman will fly around the world to get a purse that's that valuable, how much? Why, why, why do you think she wouldn't do it for a man? It's nothing new. It is nothing new. The problem is she doesn't see your value. And let me go a little bit deeper. She doesn't see you don't see your value. So how do you expect her to value you? You got to value your time, your space, who you are and everything. I'm telling you, not only women would do that, the world would open up to you. I've been teaching my son since they've been little that they are the prize. They know that. I remember clearest day. You might have heard me say this. I took him. It was my time to have him for the weekend. I took him to Dunkin' Donuts. I set him down on the couch. It was a couch in there at the time. And we, I got them their favorite donuts and something to drink. And it was a time with that. I said, never forget that you are the prize. You are the prize. And guess what happened? Now that they're older, that message that I sent, put inside of them, that confidence that I put inside of them that they are the prize, bleeds over into everything they do. I Man, if I was to tell the story how my, both of my sons are being treated by the opposite sex and by the world because they understand their value. And they do not tolerate anybody who does not value their time, their space, and their energy. They cut them off. So before this drizzle drizzle is nothing new. I don't know why we... Don't, 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 don't go buy into what these women are saying online. What these women say online, I trust me. It's for the camera. It's for the gram. It's for Facebook. But behind closed doors, they doing things you have no idea of unless you're in that life. They are doing things and paying and trying to do things that you have no clue of. So like I said, this drizzle drizzle thing, <laughs> man, I, you really understand it. If I was to really tell the story, you have no clue what, what a woman would do for a man of value and of a man that is who is scarce to find. She can't get that kind of energy, that kind of interaction, that kind of mental stimulation from just anywhere. Oh, she would she would do things for it. Trust me. The key here is make sure that you build yourself to be that man mentally, spiritually, physically, financially to be the man that you value yourself first. And the world will begin to value you. This is Lawrence D. Adams. I'm not going to belabor with this. Like, comment, and share. And I'm out.